I would advise against googling a prospective lover. You'll miss out on one of the best parts of meeting people, the mystery and the reveal. In celebration of this, I give you a list of the best erotically charged films that aren't too explicit and how to watch them. These works provoke what is unsaid, offstage, imagined, something that is contradictory to the sheryl nature of the online world. As with all things, the really good ones are harder to find. A quick note before we move forward, please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get our new video updates at our top pick number one. Belle de Jour, 1967. This French film is about beautiful young housewife Severine Sarazy, who cannot reconcile her masochistic fantasies with her everyday life alongside her dutiful husband Pierre Sarazy. When her love-struck friend Henry Husson mentions a secret of high-class brothel run by Madame Anaïs, Severine begins to work there during the day under the name Belle de Jour. But when one of her clients Marcel grows possessive, she must try to go back to her normal life. The story of a woman married to the perfect man, who can't help her desire to play an escort. At number 2. Trans Europe Express, 1966. A movie producer, director, and assistant take the Trans Europe Express from Paris to Antwerp. There is no real plot, but try to take your eyes off Marie France Pizier dressed in the perfect angular black bustier tied to a bedpost. This movie is evidence that playing games and riddles can be the most erotic pursuit of all. They get the idea for a movie about a smuggler on their train and visualize it while taping the script. At number 3. Crash, 1996. This is the story of a couple in an open marriage and the pleasure and danger of extreme fetish. After getting into a serious car accident, a TV director discovers an underground subculture of scarred, omnisexual car crash victims, it's about a form of paraphilia that causes people to take erotic delight in car crashes, just so you know. Try to rejuvenate his personal intimacy life with his wife. At number 4. Henry and June, 1990. Anais Nin meets the American writer, Henry Miller, in Paris in 1931. This movie tells the on-screen version of a psychosexual love triangle. She keeps a diary of her sexual awakening which includes Henry and his wife, June Miller. Again, mind games are often paramount for the suggestive rather than the explicit. At number 5. Betty Blue, 1986. The French title of this movie 37 degree 2 Le Matin refers to the temperature of a woman with a child. One half of a passionate love affair finding himself as a writer, after Betty has a miscarriage, mental breakdown, and he supposedly suffocates her out of compassion. A lackadaisical handyman and aspiring novelist try to support his younger girlfriend as she slowly succumbs to madness. At number 6. Emmanuel, 1974. The wife of a French diplomat in Bangkok, Emmanuel embarks on a journey of sexual discovery. Emmanuelle is a young beautiful model and lives in Bangkok together with her husband Jean, who's several years older than her. The cable TV show it inspired would become, Ask Many a Young European Boy, a memorable rite of passage. At number 7. The Lover, 1992. Set in 1920s French Indochina, a French teenage girl meets a handsome, wealthy, older Chinese playboy from a respectable family. Their strong attraction towards one another is only intensified. Given such circumstances, can their relationship last? Each knowing that knowledge of their affair will bring drastic consequences to each other. At number 8. The Dreamers, 2003. In May 1968, during the student riots in Paris, a young American Matthew studying in Paris struck up a friendship with French twins Theo and Isabel. Set against the background of the 68 Paris student riots. When the twins' bohemian parents go away for a month, they ask Matthew to stay at their place, and the three lose themselves in fantasy. At number 9. Angel Heart, 1987. Harry Angel is a private detective contracted by Louis Cipher to track down the iconic singer Johnny Favorite. However, the investigation takes an unexpected and somber turn, Everybody that Angel questions about favorites seem to meet a tragic demise. 
Eventually, the trail leads Angel to New Orleans where he learns that Favorite had dabbled in the black arts. As Favorite's whereabouts and true identity become clear, Angel learns that being hired by Cypher was not a random choice. At number 10. Lorraine Margot, 1994. Young Queen Margot is one of several in line to inherit the crown in France. Margot finds herself trapped in an arranged marriage amidst a religious war between Catholics and Protestants. Margot's mother, Catherine de Medici, is intent on seeing her son take the throne once the reign of King Charles IX ends. After being married to a man she doesn't love and starting a tryst with one she does, Margot contends with her mother's at all cost plan to control the political fate of the volatile country. It is the story of a passionate affair between a soldier and his queen. She hopes to escape with a new lover but finds herself imprisoned by her powerful and ruthless family. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below and if you liked this video please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates we upload every day and would really appreciate your support thanks for watching.